To prepare a flow cell for use with the gliding motility assay, you first need a slide. Cook Lab likes to use cover slides from VWR. You can clean your slides by any method you choose. Piranha, Alkanox, Windex, or Sonication all work fine. I don't clean my slides or slips, but I do make sure that we purchase the quote unquote pre-cleaned slides. Take your slide and position it in a manner that you feel will be comfortable for you to place tape on it. We use the Scotch brand permanent double-sided tape. Take a piece of tape about an inch and a half long and attach it to the slide, as seen in the movie. Turn the slide around and do the same thing with another piece of tape. Try to position the second piece such that you can make an appropriate size channel for your experiment. Next I use a box cutter to smash the tape to the slide. I smash the tape on the slide starting from the edge of the channel out. This helps prevent bubbles in the tape from forming. Next I use box cutters to remove excess tape. The box cutters I use are stuck together by some spacers. They are positioned such that they are approximately the same distance apart as the cover slips used. After the excess tape is removed, a slip is dropped over the channel. A box cutter is then used to smash the slip onto the tape. You can use a decent amount of force on the slip as long as the pressure you apply is over the tape. As you can see, if you are not over the tape as you smash the slip to the slide, it will break. There you have it, a nice flow cell that will last a long time and can be done ahead of time if you need or want to.